So I'm out here in Pensacola at an undisclosed location, and we're gonna see what is under this giant frigate. I don't know if it's a frigate, but I just like to say frigate. <laughs> we're gonna be using the Go Fish Cam. We're gonna bait it with some fish gum. I'm not trying to catch fish. I'm trying to keep bait on so we can get some attraction to the Go Fish Cam, to the bait, to under neath the giant frigate and that starts right now i have made this camera in such a way where it will keep the bait in frame when it is in the water we've got a six ounce pyramid weight this weighs about two ounces and then we've got the bait you got to really throw this out with a meat stick and this is the tfo tactical surf rod it can cast up to 10 ounces so we are good there we're going to try to make it to that area first and i hope there's nothing down there that will snag my camera i have lost three of these cameras trying to get underwater footage sometimes you got to use and lose things in order to capture some really good stuff so from now on you're going to see the video camera fly through the air plop down into the water and then we're just going to keep it there for a while and we're going to try a cast at the back a cast midway a cast at the front if we can get to it to see what type of fish secrets are underneath that giant frigate. All right, we're going underneath the big giant boat. If you know what that boat is, leave a comment as to what kind of boat that is. Look at the mangrove snapper. They are really everywhere. Look at that. Schools and schools and schools of mangrove snapper along with pinfish. If you've never eaten mangrove snapper, they are awesome, and they are a great catch. Here's some more mangroves. They look to be around 13 inches or so. Got some in the background swimming by. And typically, they're not going to touch anything unless it moves and is alive. But these mangroves are just hanging around the camera, coming in and out of frame. Pinfish, now they'll eat anything. Another nice size mangrove snapper. Uh, another one coming its way too. Mangroves for days. Underneath this giant boat. If you know what type of minnows those are, leave a comment below. I have no clue. I've never seen minnows like that before, ever. So if you know what they are, I'd like to know. There comes another pinfish coming in if you notice the minnows are here when the mangroves are not so that's probably a food supply for the snapper that are there another cast going down deep this is a little different there's a few mangrove here but mostly we're looking at a lot of pinfish and they are eating the fish gum bait and i don't really see anything other than the pinfish let's see what we have here nice structure nice big snapper right there wow another pinfish coming through look at that big sheep's head actually two big sheep's head another cast this is probably towards the other end of the boat got going down deep there goes a pinfish Bottom is rocky here, so if you're fishing in this area and it's rocky, you've got to be careful because you will snag bottom. Look at that pinfish coming in close. Oh, those took off. Two more pinfish. Hello. Goodbye. I actually dropped this one right by the seawall. What I would expect is what you see, a bunch of pinfish hugging next to the seawall. You can see that the camera shot is straight up because the camera is pointing straight up in the air at me as I place it right by the seawall. They're just snacking on the fish gum. Not seeing any of the target species of fish by that seawall. Oh, we got something on here. I think this is a toadfish, maybe? I'm not sure. It was small, about four inches. 
and it was mean with some big teeth in the front and I basically got that thing off as fast as I could. That was a big snapper. I don't know if that was a black snapper or another mangrove. That's a huge snapper coming through. So we have some very tasty species of fish underneath that giant boat somewhere in the Pensacola Harbor. Now that we know that those fish are there, Nice size mangrove snapper. There looked like there were some black snapper. There were also some sheep's head. I want to catch those fish and bring them home, cook them, and eat them. So what are we going to do now? We have the information of what lives down there. Now we need to prepare our tackle to get out there and catch those fish. So there's really two things that I recommend when targeting the species that we saw on the underwater camera, the number one rig I would choose would be a Carolina rig, half ounce weight to a full ounce non-roll weight in a small size six circle hook, tossing live shrimp or live bull minnows. I do have one prepared, the Carolina rig, you may not be able to see all of it, but here's a non-roll one ounce liter. Swivel, this is 10 pound fluorocarbon. And then you can see the really small hook that we would cast a live shrimp or a live bull minnow. You're not gonna catch those fish using dead baits. You may get lucky and get one, but if you wanna limit on mango snapper, which is five, 10 inches whole fish is that you can keep then you're gonna to have to use live baits. The other only rig that I would use, because there is a rocky terrain, would be to float my live baits over in that vicinity using, instead of a non-roll one ounce weight, I would use the casting bubble. You can fill these halfway with water. They usually slide up and down, but I would use the casting bubble with halfway filled instead of this sinker and I would use the exact same hook and setup with the fluorocarbon, but I would probably put one tiny split shot weight right there so that this live bait will slide through the plastic bubble and go down to where the fish are at in the water column. Then I can hopefully not have a chance of getting hooked up on that structure below, but I don't think necessarily that you're gonna break off with that rocky terrain. I think we'll be okay with the Carolina rig, but I just might wanna try either on a second rod, a casting bubble instead of the sinker that's either a egg or a non-roll one ounce weight. I hope this helps you. I'm going back out there probably in my next video. I wanna target these fish, I wanna catch these fish, and I wanna bring them home for dinner don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to Fish Gum the channel and join me next time right here. We excite to strike. God bless.